Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm going to be covering all the new updates and things and changes that have been going on in the last week or two since the wipe has actually happened and uh, how it's progressed with all the bug fixes and stuff like that. And then I want to talk about a Reddit thread that popped up last night. So, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Alright, so in no particular order, some things that have been popping up over the last week. Um, there was a period of time where all the trader limits were gone when it came to buying stuff. Uh, we believe that was BSG trying to like uh, test out if the uh, they'd move away from global limits to player limits. Um, and some people were lucky enough to buy like mass amounts of ammunition. So good on them. Um, there is big frustration at the start of a wipe when people go to buy stuff. And for example, MP133 shotguns are all sold out or uh, particular mods for Gunsmith Tasks or all the barter trades are all sold out. So I believe uh, it might be BSG's intention to actually switch it over to a player limit instead of an actual global limit, which would be really cool. Uh, it's really frustrating when you go to buy stuff and it's always sold out, uh, even later in the wipe when, you know, there's a Bitcoin trade for two Tetrises and uh, two, I think, green bats, and the, you know it sells out instantly. So uh, if you have the opportunity to have a personal limit, then you would be able to barter trade on your own time and not have to do that on the reset. So it'd be cool if they do actually implement that, but there was a bit of a time period where all the global limits were gone, and we believe maybe they were testing a player limit thing. That's a bit of like uh, uh, theory shit, not normal, uh, not hard facts that I can only post. Now, over the past uh, week and a half, the boss spawn rates have been slowly increasing. Uh, last wipe, they actually started around the 10% mark, and by the end of the wipe, they were about 30 to 35%. Uh, and then obviously, there were some times where there was a uh, like an event where there were 100% spawn rate. Uh, they started off at 5% this wipe, they went up to 8% for a period of time, and now they're 11%. So it went from 1 in 20 raids to 1 in 12 and a half to 1 in 9. Um, so hopefully you're starting to get your boss kills done. There are a lot of a lot of actual like quest gates stuck behind like getting bosses done and it's kind of frustrating like you can't get the goon kill task until you've killed Rishala, Killer and I think Sturman. Um, so you know it's like kind of frustrating when you're trying to get those tasks done and you have to do like 30, 40 raids to actually try and even get the kill or even, even get to see them. So slowly they're increasing and I assume every week or two they'll keep going up over the wipe. The So It Could part two and three tasks. Now this has been a very controversial one for the, uh, for the wipe, they changed all how the armor system works and then you'd have to hand over gazelles, but the gazelles would be like, need to take heaps of hits and particularly the 6B43. We had to go into a raid, there was five of us in the raid, in a factory raid, and I took 400 hits to actually get the armor down good enough that I could hand it in. Also, the other frustrating part of that, that is to actually even get the armor, you get one from Punisher part one completion, and then the next way to get it is you have to hand in the booze task, which means you have to get all the way up to level 50, complete the long line task, which is to kill 30 PMCs within the Mall of Interchange. Then you have to hand in the booze task, and then you get the barter trade or the 6B43 armor. So I can see this one being a very frustrating task for a lot of people to get past. And uh, unless you've got some mates that have already got to level 50, it could be a quite a while until you'll be able to hand this in. Um, there are spawns on boss minions like i know rishala's minions have a chance to spawn with the armor but it's very frustrating and very hard to get uh, and even if you do see it you're gonna have to sprint out like no tomorrow uh, in hope that you don't get killed on the way out uh, it's a very known issue that there is a, a issue with the uh, insurance return so you insure items and then sometimes you don't get the items back uh, and i've been getting messages saying hey you missed out because you didn't claim it well i didn't get the bloody message proper so uh, that's obviously an issue with the insurance items. Um, they do know about this one and they are working on it. So I don't know when the fix will be. And when the BTR, you send the items away on the BTR, I uh, initially asked BSG how long it took. I think he said one or three hours. I literally haven't used the BTR service in like, I don't know, four or five days. And I had one come back today. So, you know, there's a big delay on that one too. So maybe there's some sort of issue with the in-game messaging system. Not exactly sure how it's all working, but um, yeah, there is definitely an issue with it. And BSG know about it at least. All right, so also with Arena, they are actually doing stuff with Arena at the moment to try and uh, make it, I guess, more popular. Uh, you guys already know where I sit with Arena. It needs a lot of work and um, honestly, I just don't have any interest in playing it. It is a, re is a really good place for people to learn how to do PvP and practice their PvP skills and for a warm-up. But in all seriousness, I just don't see Arena um, being something that's going to be enticing until they really do polish the progression mode and also the ranked mode. It's not competitive at all in the current system, in my opinion. But they are having improvements to the ranked matchmaking system to provide balanced matchmaking for players in a match using closely matched equipment. 
Uh, adding the unranked mode to the game. This is stuff they're working on, by the way. Synchronizing of escape retark with the tour of the arena uh, for the experience calculation, skill and mastering levels, uh, money transfer, and the ability to create equipment presets will be added in the future updates. So you'll be able to actually level up your PMC on your main account by playing your arena account. So I think that will actually bring a lot of people over to doing a little bit of arena raids and, and elite arena gameplay. Um, if it means that they can get past some of the sticking points on their main account for the actual game, which is cool. And I'm, I'm excited to see how they do that. I, I always think it's like, they've got great theories on how they're gonna do stuff. They usually implement it like 97% well, and there's that 3% that just irks people. And that 3% is usually takes them about three months to fix, unfortunately, but hopefully they get that right straight off the bat and it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, customization of uh, custom games, uh, also adding last hero game mode and adding a new location with support for all game modes. So. Uh, they are still working on Arena. Obviously, they just released the uh, the beta not too long ago before the wipe. And uh, there is plenty of stuff coming forward with that. Now, if you haven't already heard, Edge of Darkness Edition is no longer available. Um, if you go to the Escape from Tarkov website and you go to pre-order, there is no Escape from Dark Escape uh, Edge of Darkness. Sorry, Escape from Darkness? Edge of Darkness Edition available. Prepare for Escape is the most uh, largest package. And I honestly believe they'll probably release a new one within the next month without the DLC bonus. So it means you'll have to buy Edge of Darkness and also Arena separately. Um, so you won't be able to just get both for the one purchase. So as of this point onwards, and also probably about a week ago, uh, if you didn't already know, you can't buy the Edge of Darkness edition anymore. All right, so let's talk about the, probably the most controversial shit going on right now, which is the cheating issue in Escape from Tarkov. I actually made a post uh, not too long ago probably like two days ago. I uh, said, Tarkov is in the best state game-wise, but the worst state cheater-wise ever. Honestly, this is so true. And I'm gonna talk about some of the stuff that's been going on. So cheaters are definitely very prevalent right now. You are able to inspect someone's stats at any time by just going to the messenger system down the bottom right corner of the game and type in literally their player name, right-click view profile. What I've been running into a lot uh, in particular is stuff like vacuum hackers, which uh, at the first I didn't realize what was going on. It was if your game lags out and you can't move and you're stuck in the same spot, um, you'll get these messages. And I think there's a, a post from Smith Stone here. You'll get these messages in the console. This message right here is someone literally like sucking up all the loot. I, I think the way it works, and I'm not like in the know of how exactly, but it teleports you briefly to that location, grabs the item, and teleports you back or something. But yeah, anyway, when it says observe player in that brackets, that's actually the player's name. And I would assume this person's already been banned. But um, they literally vacuum ha vacuum all the loot to your lo uh, to their location, and then they, you know, escape with it. So I actually was playing on a street raid, and I pretty much had been in the raid two minutes and killed like two other players. And then I was trying to get out because I had the car extract like for my daily. I kill a player I'm right next to the car extract, and I loot his bag. And as I'm extracting, uh, I'm sure I have the clip here to show you. Uh, as I'm extracting, I'm searching his bag, and it's got like a graphics card in there, Intel a labs key like a labs access key it was just full of all this loot and it's two minutes into the raid and he'd already had to run over to fight me right i was just so baffled because i had we haven't seen vacuum hacks like this in a long time and they are prevalent right now uh, like i said smith stone's got this message right here uh and they are you know all over the shop there's uh they bsg stated that between the 27th of december and the 12th of january they banned 11,000 cheaters here is the list uh, you can find your name there if you're banned or not um but honestly it is insane how many times i go into raid that i see something that's sus weird or obvious so another thing that's very prevalent and uh it's just people tanking their kd so they go into a factory raid they're naked and they're using a script or a macro to spawn into the factory raid and they'll spawn in and they'll either just die straight away i think they just straight disconnect um or they uh wait for a scav to kill them now most scary alarming thing about this is um, like the last three people I've seen had over 2,000 hours in game. One of them had it was 4,000 hours. And I was like, why are they taking their KD if they're not cheating? Like there's no other reason. And it's just, it's upsetting to see the people that have been playing this game for so long are also cheating because there's no other reason. If you've got 4,000 hours in this game and you're going using a macro to go into, into factory to, to tank your KD, what the fuck? Now it is what it is. Um, I'm just showing you some of the, the factors that I'm seeing with all this cheating that is going on. And I, I just did one raid last night to get my daily done. Actually, I did two, sorry. Two raids last night on Factory to do my daily, and there was a person tanking their KD in each of those raids. So they might not be actively cheating in that moment, but there are people even just tanking their KD so they can cheat later on pretty much in every raid. It, it's, it's insane how obvious you are and, and how prevalent we're actually seeing this kind of stuff. 
So yeah, there's that hot take. Now, I made this comment in a mate's chat. Let's talk about this. I made this comment. I was in Red Ops's chat, le absolute legend. Go check him out on Twitch. Um, we were just talking about how he ran into a few vacuum hackers and all that. This is when I was doing those two raids. And I made this comment. I said, 11% boss spawns means one in nine raids. It's hard to see. One in nine raids uh, for a boss spawn. I've lost all motivation when 89% of raids have a cheater and I can't get to the boss before. This is obviously taken way out of context. We'd already been talking about all the issues with cheaters and all that. And then someone's just clipped this and put, chucked it up and read it. Guys, don't do this. It's out of context. It's, it comes across really weird, right? Because people don't understand all the stuff I've been talking about before it. And I'm just hanging out my mate's chat, having a chat. And uh, yeah, if you want to farm your, your, you know, look, congratulations, you got your 2,300 karma or whatever it is for it. But holy snap, some of the messages in this thread. I'll talk about some of them right now, but starters. I made up the fucking number 89%. The very first thing I need to make point of here, 89%. I said 89% because it equaled 100 because I just thought it was clever. Like there's no, there's no facts in that. I just made up the number. Guys, so people in this thread, thread are like literally like, how does she know the 89%? It's like, what the fuck? Come on guys, you got to be a little bit more. I'm sorry, I got these like bugs flying around me. You got to understand that uh, this is ridiculous, right? <laughs> Uh, next up, uh, one of the other things is like, what servers I play on and how much of effect does it have? I'll talk di directly about what servers I play on. There's some actual people in this thread obviously know where I am because they uh, they commented on the exact servers I play on. I rotate my servers every single day because it makes it harder for people to stream stop me. I'm, I'm a streamer, I'm a content creator. I don't want people to ruin the organic style of my gameplay. I like to run into random people and not have them realize who I am at that point. I run into people from from China and I say Peng Yo and it means friendly and then I have like a rap battle with a fucking Chinese person or I run into Japanese people or I run into Americans and all that. I change my servers every single day. I play on Australia, I play on Singapore, I play on Korea, I play on China, I play on Japan and I play on NA West. They're the servers I play on and I change it all the time. However, I do go back to OCE every day and there's a reason for that. It's two reasons. One, the game feels so much better when you're on a low ping. I actually feel like there's some sort of like FPS input lag when you're on a high ping. It's only very minor, but it always frustrates me when you're in, a, in PvP and it feels like it's a little bit stuttery. Um, I always feel like there's a little bit to do with the, uh, the ping that affects that. And secondly, it's like my home turf. Right, I want to put, run in. I want to see what it's like playing on Australian servers, playing with the the boys on Australia, and I, I play on it pretty much every single day. So yes, I do play on other servers, but I also do play on Australian servers, and it gives me a good baseline on where the cheating problem is at in Australian servers when I'm running into them a lot. All right, so uh, it's always worse there. I always felt like it's been worse. I've lived in Europe, uh, and I've played on all of NA West, and I played on uh, all the European servers. And by far, OCE in Asia is the worst by far, literally by far. I moved back from uh, Europe to Australia and my first three raids on labs, I was filming. I was in staying in a hotel during quarantine. My first three raids, I filmed them and there was cheaters in all three of them. They, were, um, they shot me through walls and I reported them to BSG and they all got banned. But it was like literally the first three back, welcome to Australia. And this is back in 2020. So yes, it's bad everywhere in the world though. I will say that right now. Right now, cheating is absolutely atrocious across the whole, whole game and all the servers around the world. There are some servers that are a little bit better. Like I think American servers are probably better and Western Europe. Um, but obviously I can't play on NA East or West, sorry, NA East or Europe or the Western European servers. So it makes it harder for me to, uh, to avoid them there. But you know, I just rotate all my servers. So there's the down and nasty of what servers I play on. I play on them all. Everyone I can access to in the launcher, I'll show you right now if you wanted to. There's like seven servers I play on and I rotate through them every day. So that way I don't get stream stomped. As it is what it is. So yes, the servers um, do ch uh, change what uh, amount of cheaters you run into, but they definitely uh, everywhere. That's that's the hard and fast. Now I'll finish me off with this. One more comment from this guy. This is Pastilli. I said that Pastilli guy is full of shit and just talks nonsense with his mate and you all take it literal. That's me. I posted that. I barely post on Reddit, but I thought it was funny. I'd post on that. People don't understand. Guys, seriously, just when people are just talking to someone to chat, don't take it like a literal, like they're having a, a, a hard and fast stance on a certain point. If there's anything to take away from this, just try not to post stuff out of context. Same with like, otherwise, you know what? Fuck it. If you want to, clip every little th random shit that I say and post it to Reddit until Reddit's flooded with random shit that I say, and then hopefully they'll stop doing it. Because that's, this is this is the most ridiculous thread. It's uh, people bashing on Chinese people, 
bashing on like streamers and content creators. It's just a, I'm glad they locked it, to be honest. I'm glad they locked it because honestly, it was just, it was getting a little bit out of hand. I think the mod kind of understood that there's a hacking problem. Okay, complaining about the ridiculous blatant cheaters, cool. Calling all them Chinese and, and then delving into blatant racist, stereotypical, not okay. I, I, I agree with this dude. It's like, it's not just Chinese people cheating. I've literally got a list of names of people that are KD um, tanking that are on American service. These guys, I will shame him. And the other thing I don't understand about Reddit, this is turning into a tangent. The other thing I don't understand about Reddit is um, I don't like the fact that they block people's names when when it, they're like accusing people of cheating. But yeah, Mr. Small PP, no girlfriend. It's, it's small PP, as in P-E-E, -E, P-E-E, -E, no GF. That guy was, he, two raids in a row I saw him tanking his KD. That guy's cheating. He's got 4,000 hours. I don't care what you say. This is ridiculous. It's, it's, it, it, they're all over the world, all right? So stop thinking it's just the Chinese people. The Americans are cheating too. The Europeans are cheating. I'm sure the South Americans are cheating and the Africans. They're all cheating, all right? It's cheaters everywhere. So uh, anyway, that's all I've got for this video. A bit of a tangent, um, but uh, I thought I might as well make a point about some of the ridiculous stuff going on. And uh, so that's pretty much all I've got. Anyway, from here, um, I still stream every day, Monday to Friday. Sorry, I don't stream every day. I stream Monday to Friday. Uh, if you want to come over to my Twitch stream, come say hello. I'm trying to get my YouTube up to the millions. Multiple millions would be great, but one million would be great. Um, so if you have enjoyed my content, I'm putting out guides. We literally have our priority key guide coming out, hopefully in the next few days. Hardcore will be out within 12 hours of this video going live. Or maybe, say within 24 hours of this video going live. I don't know what will be edited. So Hardcore will be out. I'll be live streaming Hardcore all week this week. I'm going to be trying to get that just far way through, get some little bit of buffer. But if you want to see it live on stream, uh, if you miss any of my streams, the VODs will be starting to go back up on the Pestically VOD channel. And uh, I'm working on making as many guides as possible. That's my priority for this one. So uh, much love. Thanks for all the support. You guys are amazing as always. If you know someone cheating, call them out. If you're posting shit on Reddit, don't do it out of context. Uh, much love and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And lastly, I'll see you next time.